Today we're going to start all over in our charging system diagnosis and we're going to go by the CSC TT250 manual and do it right by the book from the start. I tried skipping ahead to regulator replacement. So from the start it says check the battery but this is our third battery so we know it's not the battery. Uh, put a multimeter and measure the voltage when the engine is revved. It should be between 13.8 and 14.5. And I think I was getting a 14.9 with this multimeter, which is why I have the good multimeter and we're doing this whole thing over again. So that's where we're going to start. Step one, if you ruled out the defective battery, the next thing to do is check the charging circuit. So we'll go ahead and do that. So you can see what I mean there, we are at 14.8 and it says if it's over 14.5 the regulator is defective and it must be replaced. Which is why I didn't want to trust it to this multimeter, I wanted to use the good one, but it still says we're over so maybe it's the voltage regulator. So I have my probes into the red and green coming out of the regulator to the battery, so we'll test it here and see if there's an issue in the circuit between there. So I popped two fuses doing all this. We disconnected the regular factory regulator. We have our new one here. Cut the plugs off that. This plug we were able to just slip out and connect the red and green. This is what we're going to be testing here. So the way these wires come out, two in the middle and one yellow on the end. The yellow that comes out on the end I connected to black, which should be our ignition switch if you look at the wiring diagram for the old regulator. So we're going to go ahead, fire it up, and try to take a reading on our red and green coming out of the regulator. Thirteen, twelve. I got to hold the gas tank from falling. Literally the same thing. So if you're going by 14.8 and it's supposed to be 14.5, then yes, that regulator was bad. But I just wired this one up and it's still putting out 14.8, almost the same thing. So I checked the regulator with the new regulator and you're getting the same results. So I don't believe it's the regulator. <laughs> 